Yesterday I showed you how to use Stable Diffusion 1.5. Today you can already use it inside of Photoshop. That's amazing. Christian Contrell has written this free plugin and you should absolutely follow him because he's working on other plugins for Image AI. When you go to his website, which is linked below this video, you can click on this download link for the plugin. When it has downloaded, you see it in your download folder. You simply need to double click on it. Close Photoshop before what, then double click on that file and it will start the installation process. After the installation is finished, you will find it under Plugins, Stable Diffusion, Stable Diffusion. There we go. When you click on this, the first thing you see is that it will ask for an API key because this works with the Dream Studio website of Stable Diffusion. So click on the blue link you're seeing here, click on Allow, and this will load you into the membership page. Now here you see you have the API key, click on that and then simply click here on copy for the key. Go back to Photoshop, enter the key here and click on save. That's basically it. Afterwards, you can switch over to generate, enter your prompt here, anything you want. You can set the size here the scale for the prompt, the steps you want to use, the number of images you want to generate, which means the variations or iterations, and also the sampler you want to use and the version of Stable Diffusion you want to use here. Also, you can enter here a seed or leave it empty so it will use a random seed. Then click on Dream and this is creating the image for you. Before you can click on create a layer, you need to create a file. Go to File, New, set the size or choose the size you want to use. In this case, 1080p. Now that we have the document, you can click on create a layer and this will download the image and put it right into the layer in Photoshop. You can also copy the seed. You can delete the image and you have a history here where all of your files are saved so that you can go back to them afterwards. Keep in mind that these images are not stored on any cloud from Stable Diffusion. They are stored on your drive. So when you go to a different computer or you delete your folders and reset your computer, they will be lost. So it's best to make a backup of these files. On my computer, these files are inside of the plugin data folder for that plugin. To find it on your computer, you can see down here the name of the layer. This is the file name. So search for that file name to find it on your drive and then make a backup of that folder. In the history, you also see the used prompts. You can click here on copy and they will be automatically put into your prompt field so you can use them for other versions. If you're not used to Stable Diffusion, you can click on this link here for prompt engineering. That will bring you to the Dream Studio prompt guide. And I also highly suggest you go to lexica.art, which is a huge archive of Stable Diffusion works. When you click on one of these works, you can also see the prompt here and copy that prompt. But when you copy the prompt on the website, of course, in Photoshop, you need to delete this prompt and then paste the new prompt in here. This is not automatically putting it into that field. That's it for today. Keep on dreaming and see you soon.